In today's health alert, the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services is cautioning residents about the dangers of drinking raw milk amid the bird flu outbreak. The highly pathogenic avian influenza has been detected in dairy farms in four Michigan counties. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parth Nandy, joins us now. And Dr. Nandy, is there a risk of getting bird flu from drinking raw milk? Yeah, important, right? right? So I'm getting a lot of questions like this from my patients. What I've noticed, Glenda, is that there's often confusion. We talked about this between raw milk and pasteurized milk. First of all, pasteurized milk is safe to drink. Why? Because pasteurization involves heating milk to a specific temperature for a certain amount of time. And what this does is it kills harmful germs present in the milk. This includes bacteria like E. coli, salmonella, listeria, or campylobacter, as well as parasites and viruses like the bird flu. Now, back when pasteurization became widespread in the 1950s, it dramatically reduced foodborne illnesses in the general population. Now, raw milk, on the other end, comes straight from the cow. It's not pasteurized. Therefore, it has not been heated to kill disease-causing germs. So, does this mean drinking raw milk could transmit bird flu specifically to people? According to the FDA, there's limited research and the information available, so they cannot definitively confirm this possibility. However, scientists have, scientists have known for a long time that raw milk and its products like cheese and ice cream can have harmful germs, and this poses serious health risks to those who, who have them or consume them. So how does that raw milk get contaminated from like udder to glass and who's most at risk? Yeah, important question, right? So milk can get contaminated in several ways, like improperly sanitized equipment used during milking, storing or transporting, infections within the animal's udder, for example, presence of diseases in dairy animals, even if they really don't show any symptoms or germs from the environment, including animal feces or skin. Now, good safety practices, people will say, reduce the risk of germ uh, contamination in raw milk, but they cannot eliminate the risk completely. That being said, right, most healthy people, Glenda, can recover from illnesses caused by consuming contaminated raw milk or products. Common symptoms are these, diarrhea, stomach cramps, fever, and vomiting. You don't want any of those. However, vulnerable populations such as children under five, seniors over 65, and those with weakened immune systems, they're at greater risk for severe foodborne illnesses. And some folks may even develop severe or life-threatening conditions like Guillain-Barre syndrome, which leads to paralysis, and hemolytic uremic syndrome, which can lead to kidney failure, stroke, or even death. So here's the thing, I highly recommend pasteurized milk and dairy products. Why? Because pasteurization kills germs. Just be sure to keep the, the products refrigerated 40 degrees or colder and toss out that expired stuff. Some people like to keep it for who knows what reason. So I think pasteurization is the way to go. All right. Thanks a lot, Doc. Hey, my Appreciate pleasure. You. Of course. Have a good day. You too. All right. This week on the Dr. Nandy Show, Parkinson's may be life-changing, but the diagnosis does not have to be a death sentence. Guest Jimmy Choi shares how he turned his life around to compete on American Ninja Warrior. Tune in Sunday, 2.30 a.m.